This project is sponsored by PCBWay. This year, PCBWay is celebrating the 10th anniversary of its successful existence. On the occasion of this event, PCBWay provided its users with more conveniences such as big savings for certain products as well as discount of up to 80%. From July 1st to July 31st, log into the PCBWay site and start the PCBWay 10th anniversary tour while you will enjoy, enjoy coupons, lucky draw, exclusive badges, unboxing blind boxes and many other surprises. PCBWay is always your great choice. Hello, a polygraph commonly known as a lie detector is a device used to measure and record several psychological indicators such as blood, pre blood, uh, blood pressure, pulse, pulse, respiration and skin conductivity while a person answers a series of questions. The basic parameters on the basis of which the reliability of the response is determined is the galvanic spin skin conductance. The device presented in this video is basically a galvanic skin conductance meter with several additional advanced functions and, functions and settings, made possible by the Windows software that the authors from Termino team have developed especially for this purpose. This device is actually a modern replica of the so-called e-meter device used in Scientology practices. Officially known as the electropsychometer, it was invented by the Volney Matinson and later adapted by Ron Hubbard, the founder of Scientology. The price of, the, of an original device like this exceeds an incredible $5,000. The device presented in this video is based on the Termino masterboard. It is very cheap and simple to make and has identical or even better features and options than the original device. Teremino is an open source system to connect computer with the real world. Unlike similar systems, for example Arduino, the system works immediately and does not require any firmware programming. The communication between the PC and the external components is done through Teremino master board, which is just an input-output device and not a microprogrammable controller as Arduino. You can get the Termino Master board ready for about $20 or make it yourself because the code and instructions for making it are free. Now you have more than 150 great Windows applications on the Termino website that allow you to control the components, modules or se sensors connected to the Termino Master board. The Termino systems uses the power of the PC and the flexibility and low cost of the microcontrollers. So with this combination we can make great devices. The device is extremely simple to build, in fact like all Termino projects, and consists of only a few components. Termino master board. Resistor 22 kilo ohms, red, red, orange, golden. Capacitor 1 microfarad. And two electrodes, actually two metal cylinders. The software part consists of a beautiful Windows application developed by Teremino team. Uh, the application is graphically designed to be very similar to the original device made with discrete components. However, this software completely automates the entire setup process and also contains a number of useful additional options. Now, let's briefly explain how to install and run the software. First, uh, we need to download the application Termino Emotion Matter version 3.1 for from the given address. Then we unpack the archive into a folder that contains all necessary file, files. All files are set preset. Uh, uh, next we need to activate the exe file which automatically starts the Termino HAL application in which the characteristics of the board's inputs and outputs are 
defined. In this case, terminal hull should like should should look like this. And now I will try to explain to you the way of working with the device as briefly as possible and you can find a detailed description in PDF format on the website given above. The emitter measures changes in the electrical conductance of the skin similar to the galvanic skin response used in polygraphs. The idea is that the mental and emotional states can affect the body's electrical properties. After turning on the device, we should take the electrodes in the both hands and hold them with a constant pressure. First the arrow deflects to the right, then slowly moves to the set position. We should not have rings or other metal objects on our hands. It is necessary to hold the electrodes with a constant pressure until, until the the arrow resets on the set position. In order to check the functionality again, we should briefly press the electrode strongly, during which a deviation to the right should appear again. When the, when the arrow settles at the set position, we can start testing. To be honest, I have always been skeptical about this type of device, but this time I was very pleasantly, pleasantly surprised with this functionality. Uh, we are most sure if we test the functioning our, uh, on ourselves. For this purpose, when we bring the arrow to the uh, rest, uh, we should start a favorite song or video that causes positive or negative emotional changes in us. Uh, at the same moment, the arrow begins to move the fall position, which actually means a decrease in the surface resistance of the skin caused by the emotional changes. If you follow the manufacturing and testing instructions, you won't believe how sensitive and functional is this device. Uh, after all, uh, in this claim, you will have to assure it for yourself because there is no way I can demonstrate it to you in a video. Also, is this device has many more advanced and extremely useful functions than the, origi than the original emotion meter device, such as a graphic display of the entire session, as well as an audio recording in the in it, uh, in MP3 format. So, show audio options and start session. When we are done with the session, we need to remember the recorded material and then we can play it again at any time depending on the needs. we can save this session. When we are done with the session, we need to remember the recorded material and then we can play it again at any time depending on the needs. The developers of Termino system have made a firmware and application called Arduhal so that instead of the Termino board you can use Arduino Nano microcontroller board which is often found in do-it-yourselfers. So we, if we have an Arduino Nano we can make a basic Termino project in less than an hour and we can easily see the benefits. Now I will present you how to make 
this project with an Arduino Nano microcontroller board. Uh, this version also consists of only three elements. Arduino Nano microcontroller, resistor 22 kilo ohms and capacitor 1 microfarad. Let's now explain how to upload the firmware to the Arduino Nano microcontroller. Let me mention that this procedure is done only once at the beginning and then this Arduino is used for all Termino projects. I, I hope mo most readers already have some experience, so I will explain this step briefly. First, browse, the, browse to the location of the Arduino library for folder. This is that location. We'll copy and paste here. So this is libraries folder. Uh, open the library folder and copy the and copy here the folder named uh, Teremino, which contains the zip file Arduino library Teremino v1.8. Uh, that is given below or you can download it from the official site. So we need to copy this folder here. Now in Arduino ID software, go to File, Examples, Termino Tereduino and Tereduino V1. Uh, now we need to upload given sketch to Arduino Nano board and that's all. Uploading is done. Uh, now the Arduino is ready and we can use it in all the supported Teremino projects which are around 100. Uh, next you need to start the Arduhal application which is used for mapping and configuring all Arduino ports. This application is a link between the Windows software and the microcontroller. Specifically for this version, Arduhal application should look like in the picture. We use A0 port of Arduino, configured as ADC16, and we need to pay attention to these values. First, we need uh, this time the folder for this program should contain the following files. Arduhal application, exe file, and this text files. Uh, first, we need manu to manually launch the Arduhal application. That was previously configured for this project and minimize it. And then we launch the exe file that launches the application. Everything is identical to the device with the Terminal board, uh, with, uh, with one note that the device with the Terminal board is much more sensitive, so I recommend this project with Arduino for basic testings and also in case we do not 
if in case we do not own a terminal board at the moment. However, I am sure that after the first project with the help of Arduino Teremino board, you will want to get the original Teremino board, which is primarily compatible with all projects as has a higher speed or communication and other advantages. And finally, a short conclusion. This is another wonderful Teremino project with outstanding sensitivity and functionality that only requires free components to build and no programming experience or complex settings. <laughs>